Hey, we're back out in the shop. We got our stack of wood here that I pulled out uh, all the nails so we can get uh, started on here. So stay tuned and see how we get this thing building. All right, our first step is we got this piece of square tube. It's a two inch by a quarter inch thick. And we're gonna use that to extend our frame out. So we got a place to attach the back section. So I figured that from about this frame cut here from the factory, it's a good place to measure from both sides since it should be about the same. I figured where about the center of the axle came, which is about 22 inches, so I'm going to double that to 44. That way we'll have the section of wood sitting here, and then another section back here, and it'll be perfectly symmetrical on both sides of the tire. So, pretty much yeah. So, I figure I'm going to do a 45 degree angle from only about here. And I'll come up here and the two inch tube will pretty much almost sit on top of here and then we'll cut the rest of the junk up. So, we have to figure out how long everything needs to be. And our frame is approximately five inches. So, it'd be what, five and a quarter maybe? So, roughly seven inches up will get us there. Kind of want our angle to start at this section. So, for you people that uh, think there is no need to learn math, you'll be heavily mistaken. Alright, so essentially, this here is going to be our frame, and we're going to need a section that comes this way. So this piece from there to there, that's going to have to be about 7 inches. So since we're doing 45 degree, uh, so you got your little right angle there, 45 degree has equal sides, so that means this side is also 7 inches. So then, one of your very first geometry uh, equations would be calculating the sides of the triangle. So that'd be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So essentially that's we've got the 7 and the 7. Square those, that's about 49 plus another 49. My handwriting sucks. So just for fun Let's just round up to 50, so we get an even 100 equals c squared. So then we take the square root of that, which is whatever is times itself. And since we round it up, that's easy to put at 10. So that means our section of the triangle over there needs to be about 10. So. That brings us back over here. So now we know that from approximately this section, we're coming back about seven inches. So that's going to be roughly there. And that means we're about 
11 inches, like 11 and a quarter, but just be, let's see, let's go to the 12, just for a nice round number. So that should be the point at which the uh, thing starts going that way. <laughs> the thing! So that'll be at the, the point that everything's going to start moving here. So that'll help us calculate the length. So we had our 44 from this section to there, minus the 12 there. That gives us 32. So, that gives us all that we need to measure out our frame pieces. All right, so that means we need let's see, that was 44 minus 12, so that's 32. That's there. Plus the 10 brings us out to 42. So that's where we need our cut to be. So then. Just so I can show you exactly what this is all going down. This will be our cut, so we've got our length. We'll come up here. Ten's going to be there. mean that there we want to come here see if you can see that yeah, you can barely see it over there then we come right up to here So essentially that's what we're doing. So I'll come over here where this line is, slice it off, then we'll pie cut this section out. Then we'll fold, it's like this side won't get cut all the way through, so we'll bend it to an angle. Then we should be set. But I need a different angle. So that angle will be, yeah, we can just see how do we want to do that. We only need a half of this triangle. So, it'll make it come down a little bit weird, but, so we want this half. So if you cut that half, then it would make it a full 90 degree angle and we need a just a standard 40. So that's pretty much how we're figuring that and then uh, I think we should have to grab the saw and get cutting. I'll probably just use the um, eh, I don't know. So we could use the chop saw or the let's just use the chop saw and get her cut in half and see where we go from there all right all 
Yeah, she's not going to be very accurate, but... Hello, hello. Touch that to your tongue. And it's some heavy metal. about as close as that's getting. Alright. That is not too bad. Got these sides, get them all marked up. So we're gonna hack that off. It won't perfectly line up because we would have to take what's well, half a 45, 21 and or no, 22 and a 22 and a half. Yeah. So we'd have to technically take a 22 and a half cut out of here, 22 and a half cut there. But that doubles your cutting, so we're just going to cut one at our 45 and the other one will be at 90. And then we'll probably end up with a little bit of a gap that won't hurt anything anyways.
that was the way it was supposed to go. Nice tight seam. The other one seems not so tight. I mean, that's roughly our cut. from the cutoff. This makes it relatively level at that point, but I don't think I like that. I think that spot's probably good. Yeah, well, I think that's a good spot that we can zap it and hold it in place. Just want to attack it a little bit so we can 
wiggle it around and make sure that we stay relatively straight. Yeah, I guess I gotta go grab the welder cart. So I measured for a crap ton amount of time and measured and measured and bent and measured and I think I've gotten at least this side about where I want it so I cleaned up some of the rust along the way and ready to burn in a little more fully this time. Not going anywhere. All right. Well, I found a little trailer hitch in the heap of stuff, so zap that thing on there, and pretty much completes the frame piece. Now the next part, right down here, I'm going to have to drill some holes so we can fasten some screws into the 2x4 that's going to make up the part of the main pillar here. So, simple little screw job. Funny vehicle. Alright, then our post. Let's pretend this is my post. Lines up there. I'll probably be a little bit further forward than this, but all I want. Alright. 
a smooth end there. right square. What are the odds of that happening? Alright. So, take measure. I want. Bottom of the trailer here. Hang down a little bit. Okay.
do this. Almost 36. Almost 36. Those are actually strangely parallel. All right, now that we've got those two uprights there, I'm going to put across the horizontal. Ran a couple uh, pocket holes. That way you can run some screws in. And then we can see what it's kind of shaping up to look like. Alright, well you can kind of get the gist of what we're looking at here. A little bit here, a little bit there. So essentially we then have another Now there's something right about there, maybe. Maybe down a little further. Or we can give it that. So you get a little. Little something like that. Kind of hard to see at this angle because this camera doesn't want to. This camera doesn't give a very good wide angle, but something along the lines of that. Oh, we can. That's a little bit better. Hate it when I find out I'm partially zoomed in. There, that's a little better. So it'll be a. It'll be a pretty long process getting through it all. So, anyways. That's a little bit closer for today, and we will see you next time. And yeah, check out any other of your videos. Uh, we got more stuff coming. We got some fire and all sorts of other stuff. So keep tuned here, and uh, we'll keep bringing you some more videos.